Hello! Today I am going to show you how to use the member website to make a dining reservation. So, once you have logged into the member website, you are going to see a selection of options right underneath Welcome Back and Your Name. Right down in the bottom row, right in the middle, is Make a Dining Reservation. So we are going to click that. And it takes a second to load. Here we are. Okay, so this page is going to have all of the restaurant options that are available to you. We've got Buffalo's, Canoe Club, Coles, as well as the May River Grill and Octagon. You can just scroll up and down to get to the restaurant that you would like. We are going to use Canoe Club today for our example. So we're going to click right here where it says Make Reservation. One thing to note for Canoe Club as well as the other restaurants is that if you are trying to get seating out on the porch or the patio, there is a separate category to choose. Uh, you are going to want to make sure you pick patio if that is what you would like or regular seating if you would like to be indoors. So today, for example, if we want to go to the Canoe Club tonight, the times that are available up for us for a party of two guests would be 5 o'clock, 5.15, 8.45, 9, or 9.15, and these are all indoors in the regular seating section, as you see right over here. Um, now, tonight, obviously, our options are going to be pretty limited because it is somewhat last minute, and Canoe Club is so wonderful and popular. So we're going to go to a date in the future. So if you click in this date box over to the left, it will bring up a little calendar. There are arrows up at the top to either side of the month, that will let you go back and forth between the months. So we're going to skip way ahead. We're planning far out. We want to make a reservation for May. And we want to do May 7th. It's a Friday night. So now you see over on the right we do have patio seating that has popped up because there is patio seating available for that evening. If you do not see this column with patio seating, it is because there is no patio seating available. So we are going to go back over to the left here. We've got our date of May 7th, 2021, and we have a time and we have the number of guests. Let's say we have a party of four for that evening. I think it's easiest to start with the number of people in your party because that may influence what times are available. Say, for example, a table for two is available at five or eight, but a table for four may only be available at nine o'clock just due to table sizes. So I would recommend starting with number of guests. So we're going to have a party of four in our imaginary dinner here. So as you will see over on the right, we do have the times available. These are all pretty early. You are not limited to necessarily what you see here. If you click down where it says time on the left and you see this drop down menu, that will give you the full range of times available. Since we are planning so far ahead, there is a very large range of dates available. I'm sorry, not dates, times available, which is excellent. We can really kind of have our choice here. So let's say we wanted to dine at 7.30. I click 7.30. And as you can see over on the right, the times here have changed. There is availability for both regular seating and patio seating. For May, I think it's going to be gorgeous. Let's sit out on the patio. So we just click where it says 7.30 p.m. underneath patio seating. Now below those times, we have places for dietary restrictions and special occasions. Let's say we are celebrating Marion Wilson's birthday. You can just type that in here. And Mr. Wilson is gluten free. So if you have specific needs, you can just put those right in those boxes. So we're going to click Make Reservation and it processes. takes just a moment. Now, this is an important part to note. There are terms and conditions here. You may notice that at the bottom of the screen, there's a cancel button, which we can click, and there is a continue button, which is grayed out. The reason that button is grayed out and you can't click it is that we have to actually read through all of the terms and conditions and agree to them before the website will allow you to proceed with making your reservation. Now, if you regularly make reservations at Pomada Bluff restaurants, you may already be familiar with these. You may scroll all the way through and just click OK, but it never hurts to read them just in case.
Either way, once you have gone through all of those terms and conditions, which include the dress code, corkage policies, and anything else that may be necessary, you will see at the bottom left there is I agree to the terms and conditions. You must check this box in order to be able to continue. So we're going to click that, and you will note our continue button can now be clicked. So we have clicked that button and our reservation has been successfully completed. So an email confirmation should be sent to the email address that you have on file. If you don't receive one, you are always welcome to contact the Club Concierge office at either clubconcierge at palmettobluffclub.com or at 843-706-6690. And that is how you make a dining reservation on the Palmetto Bluff member website.